When your stash is low, when your cash ain't full, when you need to max out your arsenal, it's time for Goodwill Hunting. What is up guys, Pwn here, and today I've got for you the haul from Labor Day Day 2. Now this was actually on Labor Day, not just in the Labor Day trip weekend. So the Labor Day deals were going on, uh, so let's take a look, quick look at the graph just to see how much better than... Uh, the day before was quite a bit better than September 3rd was Labor Day, September 4th in 2017. But to my surprise, actually, it didn't beat the Eclipse trip. The Eclipse trip must have been pretty fantastic because I really thought that the Labor Day super sales were going to beat that, but didn't quite reach the blaster count that the Eclipse trip did. Anyway, let's jump into testing these blasters. Got a whole lot of commons few uncommons and a few rares, maybe one epic. I slotted it in at rare because I was a little bit ignorant, I think, about maybe its true value. I'll ask for your opinion, your help when I get to that, but let's check out the commons. A Maverick, because I see these everywhere, so I've decided if it's less than two bucks, I'm gonna get a Maverick. If for no other reason but to harvest this turret. Works. Surprise, surprise, here's a Proton. Now this one, although common, I would say, actually might be coming in at uncommon because of this sweet accessory. Actually kind of a cool looking braid here uh, on this blaster. And it works. An orange and a blue fire strike. And I'm actually noticing, uh, let's see if I can get this out. Something has seriously jammed a poor, poor little dart in here. Gosh. Poor little guy. Dart in there backwards all smashed up. Some nerf owners can just be so cruel. Then outnumbering even the protons on this trip. Not one. Not two. Not two. But three. Vigilance. A Vulcan. Pretty heavy. That looks like it works. Even has some batteries to salvage. Fantastic. Don't really have anything new for you in this one. Jeez, Air Max 6 Extreme. See these all the time. They work great. Definitely have an excellent air chamber in there. An old Dartag Hyperfire of the green variety. Uh, this one was some decorated with some uh, duct tape. That's nice. Makes for a nice sticky, disgusting feel. Ooh, bonus. That works. A recon. That works. And a second recon. This one from Brooks. Thanks, Brooks. And that one also works. Firefly. That works great. And a retaliator. Works stupendously. All right, that is it for the commons. Jumping into the uncommons. All right, first up from the uncommons, sort of an older blaster, the Tech Target Eliminator, I believe. Uh, this one, I think it came out in 2003. Yep, this copyright 2003 Hasbro. It's like fires elite darts decently. Vulcan tripod, Guardian crossbow. That works excellently. Go along with the Guardian crossbow. Got a pink crush. Starting to get a pretty decent density on the old uh, Rebel line wall. Picked up a Hornet. Does it hold air though? Alright, that one's ready to go. Actually got another Hornet. And that one's ready to go. Got a third Hornet here. Ready to go. Alright, let's get whoa, fourth Hornet. Does this one hold air? This one may not. Let's test this one first. Wow, four for four on Hornets. That is extremely unusual. But I think after this, these will probably have to drop down to common from uncommon. Then a Praxis with the stock, kind of making an uncommon.
now works. Blast Uncommon and XD Rough Cut. Now, the last time I fired from all chambers out of a rough cut, I did actually not, I didn't actually notice that one of the darts just fell out. So I'm gonna pay real close attention this time. Wonderfully working rough cut. All right, done with the uncommons. On to the rares. Got a speed load six. First time I've ever seen one of these, so it had to go into the rares. If I've seen something for the very first time, never seen it before, it's sort of an auto include in the rares. It may come down in the future. That works. A super soaker, super swirly soaker? I don't know. Tornado strike. That's kind of cool. Spins around. I don't know why I got this. I think because it was so ridiculously cheap. Uh, didn't come with the stock, which is probably the uh, valuable part as far as nerf is concerned. Because of its color, jumped up in rarity. You got the uh, zombie strike green variety shotgun, rough cut, rough cut shotgun. Okay. Weird fountain of darts. Uh, looks like just one side of this works. Snag a diatron. That works great. Then I've seen these before, but for some reason only at places that charge outrageous prices. This one wasn't bad. Only a dollar ninety-nine for this Pyragon. This is really kind of just a bulkier Praxis. Uh, the real value for the Pyragon was the giant drum. I think it was held 40 discs. Didn't manage to get one of those, but for a cheap Pyragon, I'll definitely snag it. Rare to jump from color. We've got a Whiteout Vigilon. That works. First time I've ever seen one of these. Another rare to jump because of color. A Zombie Strike Long Shot. And lastly, this is what I kind of didn't know. I don't, I don't know much about this blaster. It's not even Nerf. It's the 1998 Oddzon Vortex Tornado. I'm not sure which is the name or what. I'm not even sure how this thing works. In my gut, I just knew that this was a blaster to pick up, though I'm still not sure why. If you could, in the comment section, let me know what you know about this blaster. Why is it so great? Is it good for modding? It seems like it does have a pretty powerful spring. Uh, I was considering putting this at Epic, but I just don't know this blaster well enough. I didn't get that warm, fuzzy feeling that I get with certain blasters that I would just immediately jam into the Epic slot. So let me know. This is Labor Day, day two, the $100 haul. And until next time, you can be serious about Nerf, but don't take Nerf too seriously.